Hey guys, Head on a Spike here with a video review today for you. A review of the new edition of the character Cyclopedia that's Harry Potter, also Lego. This is a new book that has just come out and it's really hard to find because like when I was at Barnes & Noble looking for it, there was none around at all. And the only one that was remaining left, which was, guess what, it was this one. It was hidden behind tons of other stuff. So some person was being horrible and trying to like hide these. So I don't know if they're more common in other stores, but when I was looking, there were none to be found except for the one that was hidden here. And uh, that's it. So good luck getting your hands on it. Maybe it's easier on Amazon. Maybe it's more well stocked in other Barnes and Nobles or other stores, like maybe Books a Million. Check there if you want it. Uh, this has an exclusive minifigure, the Rita Skeeter minifigure, which we've always needed in the Harry Potter collection. But keep in mind, my dear friends and followers, people are very horrible sometimes, and they like to rip out minifigures from the back. So you might find a box or a book where the uh, figure is missing. So one good thing to check is always be sure this is completely, utterly sealed. And maybe also shake it. Here, listen. That That's the sound of a minifigure inside. So be sure that uh, if you get one of these, that it has the figure still inside. So I'm going to carefully peel this off. And I do mean carefully because I don't want to like damage the sticker. It's also tricky doing this one-handed. So hold on a second. While I attempt to do this very carefully. Because uh, I don't want to like break the seal. Eh, this is very intense. But yeah, this figure, it's a very nice one. She is a unique minifigure. She doesn't have a whole lot of unique prints. But uh, she does have a unique head. As well as a unique torso. Okay. So I very carefully uh, peeled back the sticker. Because I didn't want to like, you know, break it. So now that the seal... <laughs> now that the seal is broken, I can carefully lift the lid, and there she is! Hooray! Okay, so, I'm going to try to build her one-handed, that'll also be a little bit tricky, but we will, we will manage. So these legs are a beautiful, vibrant green. Of course it's authentic, you know, because it's, you know, inside of this book, so you can't really fake that. <laughs> Uh, I have a little stand here, so I'll build her as I'm talking. Here's her torso print. It's very nicely detailed. Uh, I love the um, the shading of green, the dark green on top of the light green, and a little, little fur coat on top. Yeah, that's a nice little fur shawl. And the negative space adds to it also. It's, it's a very nice addition, so you can like see that she's, you know, slim or whatever. Uh, let's see, this is her head. This is also unique. This is a brand new face print. It has, it has dual sided. She has like, like an eyebrow raise in this one. She looks more like annoyed and like angry on this one. I guess I like the other one that more inquisitive look more. So let me put that on. There we go. And she has this hair piece, which isn't unique, but it is more uncommon. It's a little bit more uncommon. And yeah, that's the figure. She also comes with this little, like, notepad thing and a feather, which is just a uh, light green see-through flame by the looks of it. This is not a unique piece. I looked it up on BrickLink, but um, this thing might be. I'll, I'll, I'll do more research about this thing. This, this might be a unique print. But anywho, this is the figure in its entirety. There she is, looking very green and mean, which also rhymes. So now, I will close this back up and reseal the sticker. And now, it looks like that. Now, some people, if they're, you know, assholes and stuff, <laughs> they will um, take the figures out of these types of books and put the sticker back on so it looks like no one's taking it out. So beware of that. Be sure to shake it. See, it's silent. Now it's silent now. All you hear is the rustling of the book itself. If it does that, then you know. Oh, pfft, also, the sticker might pop out. 
If it does that, then yes, someone has taken the minifigure out and you are getting a faulty product. So beware, my friends. People are not nice sometimes. So be aware that people might do that. So I'm not going to go through every single page of this book, but uh, I will go through some of it. These books are very well categorized. The only complaints I have about these books and the other one that I have, which I did a review on before, which is the uh, DC Character Encyclopedia. The only issue I have with these is that it only shows the new versions of these characters. Like, it doesn't have all the old ones. Like, here's all the new sets, all the new minifigures. It never has the old stuff. It has some, like, from 2018, but that's still pretty new, you know? Uh, like, I I'm talking, like, if they're going to have Harry Potter here, I want to have, like... The OG Harry from like 2001, you know, not just these newer ones from like 2017 and up. Uh, same with McConaughey, you know, she had a great minifigure back in 2002 with uh, Dumbledore's office. And, 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 and this is a beautiful figure, don't get me wrong, but it only is this current version. And I, being a Lego historian, like to have my figures with like the before and the after, the old and the new. So you can really see the beautiful progress that Lego has made over the years. Same goes for Hermione, same goes for Ron. I want this principle for all these different characters. Um, so that's my only complaint about these types of books, these current new editions. Now, there's a rumor that there should be a Marvel one coming out uh, in September 1st, I think, or September 4th, sometime in September. And uh, that should, I'm hoping, you know, knock on wood, will have the old versions of the characters and the new versions, only because it's the very first Marvel dictionary ever made. They've never done that before. They've only had Star Wars dictionaries, DC dictionaries, and obviously Harry Potter dictionaries. They've never done Marvel, which is kind of crazy because Marvel has been around almost as long as Star Wars. The very first Marvel set was with Spider-Man, and that was in um, uh, 2002. And Star Wars started in 1999, so that's just really just a few years apart, if you think about it. Um, so I really hope that the... Um, yeah, this, this has some nice stuff in here. Some cool, some cool uh, information. But what I'm hoping is that the Marvel one will have the old characters in addition to the new ones. Not just the new ones like these books clearly do. Uh, so, yeah. I'll just flip for, a, flip for a few more pages. Oh, there's Cat Hermione. That's fun. There's a whole bunch of information here. I'm definitely going to like look through this... Later on, oh, look at the shrunken head. That's a nice piece. You know, it was interesting. Uh, in the original of this night bus uh, that came out in 2003, I believe, the uh, shrunken head was actually imprinted on the um, the glass window in the front, like the, the front window pane of the uh, bus. So it was never actually a, a minifigure head. It was on like the very front of the bus right here, like in the, the, the very front window. It's kind of cool that uh, they used to do it that way. And now they have a piece. That's, uh, again, it's just really cool evolution. But you wouldn't know that unless you had me telling you. Because if you were just becoming a new Harry Potter collector, you probably wouldn't know that tidbit of information. So if I wrote this book, I would have mentioned that and shown the picture of the of the little window with, with, with the shrunken head next to this one. So you can compare and contrast. Because that's fun. I like comparing and contrasting. Oh, that's a cool dementia. I still really wish that they could make, using this type of uh, plastic, this shimmery blue plastic, I wish to God that someday they would use this same plastic to make, like, Ghost Obi-Wan or Ghost Yoda. That would be the coolest thing ever, like Ghost Anakin. All three of our Ghost Pals, the end of Return of the Jedi, that would be the coolest thing ever. They have the plastic, and they know how to make minifigures. I don't know why it's such a big deal. Well, I don't know why that way, why they haven't done that. See, Lego should hire me. I can tell them things that people would want, and that'd be awesome. Ooh, that's a cool, cool figure. I like the legs here. That's cool. Yeah, so that's basically going to do it for this video. If you want this book... Oh, look, there she is. 
<laughs> if you want this book, uh, I wish you the best of luck. Hopefully it'll be more common and easier to get in the near future. I highly recommend getting it even just for this figure because um, looking at the bricklink for Val Zod, that Superman, uh, he's already gotten really high in price. I've seen him on bricklink for like $75 already and that book just came out like last year. So Rita Skeeter might be the next Val Zod. She might because she's from a book, she's from the same type of uh, dictionary. They're pretty rare, they're pretty hard to find and get your hands on. And she's going to be a unique minifigure. So, if you want her, if you want, you know, possibly $75 in the future or more, definitely invest in her now. Because this book is only like 20 bucks. So, that's already a profit right there. Just keep it in mind. Keep your eyes out. If you see this book, I'd grab it if I were you. Alright, that is going to do it for this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you dig this. And alrighty then. Head on a spike out.